This is Joseph Pipitone with Scalability Experts, and in this video we're going to cover some basic recovery techniques using Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager. For demonstration purposes, uh, I'm going to be using a Windows Server 2003 uh, virtual machine, and uh, this server here has some files under administration and then downloads that we're going to be working with. Uh, these are non-critical system files, and I do know that they get backed up on a nightly basis with uh, Veeam Backup and Replication. And so let's take note of this file name here, owasmime.msi, and let's also take note of this folder here. Now I'm going to simulate that I'm a user, and I'm just going in here wreaking havoc, deleting folders and files, and emptying the recycle bin, just like this. And okay, those files are gone. Well, there's a few different ways that we can restore these, and if you refer back to one of our other videos, we were demonstrating how to use the Veeam Backup and Replication GUI to perform uh, a similar set of restoration features. But in this case, we're going to be using the Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager, which is a web-based interface. So let's go ahead and log in. So there's all sorts of interesting information that we can gather from this homepage here in the Enterprise Manager, such as the number of backup servers you have, the number of jobs running, the total number of virtual machines you're backing up, uh, the processing speed, which I find to be one of the most interesting statistics, the total size of your virtual machines, and how much they actually, the backups are on disk. And so let's go back and uh, take a look at this Files tab here. And this field here allows you to designate which virtual machine we're going to be working with and restoring to. The virtual machine here is the Exchange server. Uh, again, I've had to blur it out for security purposes, but um, and I know that the restore point that I want to be working with is from May 30th, and so I'm going to click on this timestamp. And then here is the actual file system here, uh, C, Administration, and then Downloads. So here's one of the files that was accidentally removed. Uh, now there's a few different ways I could do this. Uh, if I don't know exactly where on the file system this file is, I can simply just do a quick search by typing in the name of the file here. Or I could just click on the search button here. And there's all sorts of advanced options for the search uh, modification date. Or if you just want to search the entire VM. Uh, document type extensions, things like that, so you can get very granular with your searching. But for purposes of this demo, I'm going to just show you that if I right-click this file and I click on Restore, it's going to ask me if I would like to restore to the original location. Uh, this is probably going to be the most commonly used uh, method of restoration if the purpose is to restore the files back for immediate use. Uh, there's also another option here where I can add it to a restore list, and I'm going to do that for now. And there is another folder that we have to restore called 2003 SP264 bit, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to the restore list as well. Now over here there's a tab that says restore list in parentheses 2. Here's the files that we, uh, the files and folders that we actually got rid of. Uh, by a mistake and I can simply click on this restore button and it will immediately begin restoring back to the original location uh, without prompting you. Now there's another nice feature uh, this download feature here. Um, let's click on that and see what it does. Now it's going to say it's restoring and it's going to actually give you the opportunity to access these restored files. Uh, it'll actually restore the files from the backup media and then it's going to zip the files and folders up and make it available for you to download. Okay, so now you can see that the status changed to preparing package. And this is actually zipping up these files and folders into an archive for us, uh, which we can download anywhere we'd like. Let's click on this download button here. And see it immediately just prompts us to save this archive here. And let's just save it to the desktop and I'll show you what's included in this archive. Here's our files and folders here. Now I can manually copy these back over to the server, but I want to show you an easier way to do this. 
Uh, I can just click on this restore button since we still have these two items in our restore list. I'll click restore and it's going to restore them back to the original location which is on our exchange server. Okay, so the restoration has completed. Well, let's bounce back over to the exchange server. And here we go, see administration downloads and here's the folder that it looks like it's back. And here is the MSI that looks like it's back. So those are just a few different methods that we can use to restore using the Veeam Enterprise Manager. And this is really nice because we can perform these restoration techniques from any, any server in our network, really, uh, since it is web-based. Let's take a look at how the search works. Like I said before, I can browse the entire contents of this server's file system. Uh, I'm going to just search for a file. Uh, let's search for this file name, globaltsk.bat. This is especially helpful if you don't quite remember where that file lived, but you just happen to know the name of the file, or if, if a user you know, tells you that there's a file missing, here's what it's called, I don't remember where it was. Okay, so here we can see that the search results were actually returned, and here is the actual path of the globaltsk.bat file. And uh, let's just click that, and we get the same kind of options here, restore, download, add to restore list. Um, this file was never deleted, so I'm not going to restore it, but I just wanted you to see how the search functionality worked. And so there we have it, just a few different simple methods of restoration using Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager. Once again, thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website at scalabilityexperts.com.